In the past two tutorials I have covered checkboxes and radio buttons and those two options are great for getting a, a small amount of user input as far as uh, as far as options go. Um, you can use you can use checkboxes to select multiple items you can use radio buttons to select one item but both of those they take up space and if you have more than four or five options they can very quickly crowd your web page so to to solve that problem we use what is called a list menu and we create list menus because um, say for example whenever you go to sign up for a certain service or something on the web uh, a lot of times they'll ask you what country you're from or uh, something like that and whenever you you go to select what country you're from you'll you'll click on the drop down menu and you'll see a list of all the countries in the world and that is a great example of when a drop down list menu should be used so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create that using Dreamweaver it's, it's a very similar process to the uh, check boxes and radio buttons with uh, a little a little tiny difference. So go over here to our insert group and click on list menu. And I'm going to give it a name of months because I'm going to create a list menu that has each month in the year. Once you do that, you uh, go down here in the properties inspector and you refresh and you click inside anywhere inside the select tag and you'll see a few options here and the one we're interested in right now is list values this is very similar to the radio buttons and the check boxes um, it looks exactly the same as far as entering the values and the labels goes so I'm going to really quickly abbreviate the names of the months and give them a value of the number that corresponds to that month. alright there we go now what this is going to do once I press OK is it's going to add some options inside of our select tab and an option is um, exactly uh, what it sounds like it's an option that is inside of our list menu um, once once we select it and it drops down um, inside of our option tags we have the actual um, the label and here we have our value which is uh, what's going to be submitted to the handler whenever it is finished, whenever you click submit. So we're going to run this and see what it looks like. And that is exactly what you thought you would see. Uh, another option with the the list menu is uh, you can go down here and you can turn it into a list instead of a menu. So you click on list and you can allow the user to select multiple options. So I'm going to save that and run Firefox. Now you can see that if you hold down control you can select multiple multiple options there so if you think about it the the list menu is really it's it's a lot like the the radio buttons and the check boxes combined because inside of the list menu you have the option to use it as a menu and you can just select one just like radio buttons or you can use it as a list and allow multiple and then you can select as many as you want just like a check just like a text box 
So now that we've seen the different ways to handle user um, user input, we're gonna in the next tutorial go through a few other different form items, and then we're gonna use um, spry elements to validate our forms. So make sure to continue watching because there's definitely a lot more to be learned about forms. Um, we just touched the surface of what can be done with forms. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, there's a lot of more cool. There's a lot more cool stuff to come, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you next time.